drawing lesson is all about ocean creatures. So we've done a jellyfish as part of our painting and if you watch that tutorial again and want to just learn to draw it, just do the first half of the tutorial. Um, if you want to learn how to draw another creature, it's always a good idea to grab your little fish. Okay, so if you use your fish as an example, we can see he's got a big, well, he's got a little nose and then a big round body. It's kind of a square shape almost. And he's got a fin on top and a fin on the back and a fin over here and another little fin here okay. and a fin here a little fin here tropical fish have lots of fins because it can be pretty difficult to swim around in the ocean if you're really into detail you can go ahead and add fin lines always fun and the big one that's always a big challenge for projects like this is the scales okay so if you want to do scales you just start out with some bumps the same kind of bumps you put on the jellyfish or the same sort of shape you use to make petals on a flower if you were drawing a flower okay but the trick is is you want the fins or the the little scales to jump from fin to fin. You don't want the fins or you don't want the scales to line up. Okay, and there's lots of room for scales, so it can be tough to get around all of the fins. See? So it's easier to see here. So I'm going to start on the side. I'm going to jump onto the top of the last scale then jump to the next scale and jump to the next scale, 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 and I'm done. And I'm going to start there. I'm going to jump on top. So we're always jumping to the top scale. And my scales are getting pretty big. I didn't do that on purpose, but that's okay. It's getting a little messy. It takes some practice. Okay, but you can use this scale drawing technique to put scales on just about anything scaly dragons or lizards or more fish whatever you think okay so that's how we draw a little fish or a tropical fish i should say so i'm just going to move this off to the side one of my favorite things to draw is a sea turtle so to start with a sea turtle we're going to draw an egg in the middle okay and then we're going to put an outline on that egg. So it's like an egg inside of an egg. Now, a turtle shell has 13 sections. Every turtle. Isn't that strange? So you're going to put one section here, and then you're going to one, two on the side, and then another one in here, and then one, two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. From there, we can put our turtle's head. Okay, and turtle's eyes are sort of on the sides of their head, so you don't get to see much of them. Now, sea turtles don't have arms and hands. They have fins. Okay, so we're going to give them two fins. And a little tail. And then if you want to put some designs in here, you can put some fun designs. You can put some details in the outside of the shell because that's what that second line is is just the outer part of the shell or you can put some scales or spots on the turtle's body okay so 
just like that. Now if you wanted, you could make baby turtles. So you're going to do the same thing, just smaller. Just much smaller. And remember what I said, all turtles have 13 sections. Okay, got some little babies. All right, so we've done a fish, we've done a turtle. How about something a little scarier? What about a shark? For a shark, we want a straight line, a point, and then we're going to bring it back up. They're very sleek creatures. And we're going to put a pointy tail on there. We can put a pointy fin because you always see the fins. Okay. Make sure you put some sharp teeth on that shark. Okay, and they have little nose holes if you want. If you want to put more detail, they kind of have this pattern that goes like this, and the top of them is gray, and the bottom of them is white. If you want to put some details in, you can put some fin details in. Okay. And the last creature we're going to draw, we're going to do a nice big whale, okay? And this whale is going to look like it's diving. So we're going to start with a big swooping J. Looks like a J. I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher. And I'm going to bring it in and up. I'll turn the end into a fin. And I'll put another fin on the top. Just like that, and then I can draw one fin here. I'm going to just draw the other fin sticking out from behind him. I'm going to put in a little blowhole, okay? And then we're going to draw the whale's mouth, just like that. We're going to give the whale a lip, okay? The eye always goes in very close to the mouth. They have very low, wide-set eyes. We won't see the other eye because it's on the other side. But we can keep this line going. And this is going to be the whale's belly. It's kind of drawing a blue whale. They're the biggest whales in the ocean. Okay. Put some nice detail lines in the fins. If you wanted, you could even make it blowing water out of his his air hole. Okay, and put some just like that. It's a pretty cute little whale, isn't it? Pretty cool. So now you know how to do a whale, you know how to do a scary shark, you know how to do a sea turtle, and actually Using that design of the shell, you could draw any turtle you want. And you know how to draw tropical fish. I would love to know if you have any other tips or tricks for other sea creatures. I would love to see what you create. And remember, you can try and do these over and over and over again. The more you practice, the better you get. And you can try some variations. So see what you can do. Maybe you can teach someone else how to draw these. I'd love to see what you do. And if you've got your marker close by, you could always outline them. Okay, this is how I make my coloring books actually. I draw things, I outline them with a marker, and then I turn them into books. So you could turn your drawings into a coloring book too if you wanted to. And then it's ready for coloring in.
can put some bubbles in there. Bubbles are always great. Okay, so I hope you have fun cartooning. I can't wait to see what you do with some of your cartoons. And hope you have a great day.